Hello everybody, I am Brooke and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing with you some of my recent finds. Most of these are gonna be for sale. However, I did get a couple pictures that I will be keeping. They're right there. When I don't have somebody to hold things up for me, I just use the camera. So I videotape myself and then I look back and see if I like it or not. These pictures do not have the original hangers. So one has a hanger that's really close to the frame. Another one is just with a tack and string. So I'm trying to decide which way I want to put them. These have old stickers on the back that say M key candies. Not really sure. Maybe they were a thank you gift. I'm probably gonna have to put some tacky stuff on the back of them because neither of them are wanting to hang straight. Hopefully it's showing up on camera, but these dogs are actually 3D and I just love them. They're the right colors and the right theme for my room. First thing I spotted when I walked in to Brass Armadillo was this uh, fire poker holder or stand. You really could use it for uh, umbrellas if you wanted and I am watching the top of it so that I do not crack a shade on the chandelier, which is something I would totally do. But I love the bottom shape of it. You can see it has a couple little feet it is not marked or anything on the bottom. And then it has a nice little spot here for the tools to lean and then a pretty finial. So even if you don't have fire poker stuff or you could display an umbrella, like I said, you could do a collection of canes, even yardsticks. And then also I was thinking you probably could set a pot on top of here as well or a hand towel, a small blanket, etc. You get the idea. And this shell piece is kind of like a bowl, so you could always set like a collection of fish floats or something. So anyway, you can always think outside of the box. This doesn't have to actually be used for fire pokers. This is for sale for $95. So something that I do in all of my haul videos is basically try and sell them to you. So I pick them up and I am flipping them. So if you would like that, all I need is your email address and your zip code and I can get you all taken care of. So eventually whatever doesn't sell on social will go over to my website. You will notice that $95 seems to be the price of choice today because this Stag Inkwell holder is also $95. Now it does not have the ink wells, but that didn't bother me. The ones that I saw that it had were like really small glass ones and they actually appeared to be short and fat and stick underneath it. And then there was a green metal lid on top. Now I don't think the likelihood of me finding those is going to be very high. A normal inkwell, I'll grab one and show you. This is a style of inkwell that I'm always finding. So if I had a couple, you could always set it there, but see it's pretty tall. But how I saw the other ones, they were underneath it, but this is gonna be just a little bit too tall to set underneath this piece. You know, that I can find more frequently. But I also thought, you know, hey, this guy, in addition to setting him out, you know what else I could do? I could hang him up on the wall. So that was kind of what my thought process was. There are some numbers on the back, 6013 and B&H. B&H is Bradley and Hubbard. So that is the company that would have made this uh, inkwell holder originally. I do not know how this caught my eye in a big antique mall like Brass Armadillo, there's so much stuff. The girl that helped me out, she was like, people are always checking out with things. And I'm like, well, where did you find that? Cause I like it. And I told her, hey, I probably missed a lot of things too. There's just so much to look at. So somehow these were tucked away in a booth and I just happened to find them. They are candle wick scissors. 
they have a little, you know, bend here in the handle and a little kind of a capture piece right there. And these are $20. Another piece for $95, remember I said there was a theme, is this soap holder. And then everything I read said this is for your sponge. So this would have been mounted on the wall and it is just gorgeous. It will stand freely. So if you wanted to just lean it up against like a backsplash in your bathroom or the wall in the bathroom, you could do that and put your little decorative soap in there, do another soap up here if you wanted or roll up some washcloths, put a candle, you know, sky is the limit. There is a little bit of tarnished um, spots on this. I have not tried to clean it or anything, but you can definitely do that. I have shared in a blog post a little cleaner, home, homemade cleaner that you can use if you're interested in that. And I will drop that down in the description. Also, it's important to note that if you are in the Des Moines area and you're curious where I like to go shop, just check down in the description. I have the names and the addresses of all the places that I go, even if I don't find something that day. So like today, I went to four places. One of them was Brass Armadillo. I didn't get anything at the first three. I only got things at Brass, but I will put all the places I went down in the description so you can shop those places too. Now, I definitely have a thing for wood boxes. I haven't bought as many lately, and I probably lately as in since we've moved, so two years, for whatever reason, I just haven't found any that I really, really liked. This, I really, really like. So these are inlaid pieces. It's a hinged box, and then basically the inside of this one is nothing. So the booth owner had these labeled as cigar boxes. I do not think that they are cigar boxes and I'm saying they because I bought two and then there's probably still two there at Brass Armadillo. So when I looked at it, these are more like a sewing box is what somebody said. Jewelry box is not some what somebody said. And I can see that being a bigger, uh, more likely a possibility. There's a little, it's kind of like a piece of lath on each side. This one actually looks more like just a raw wood piece but basically that lets you have a little drop in tray or box that you can lift out and then you have stuff underneath. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about. Um, but both of the boxes that I got have that in it. And I just don't think a cigar box is going to do that. Now, that doesn't mean you couldn't store cigars in here, but I don't think that is the original intent. Now, there is a little bit of scuffing. There is a little bit of inlay missing somewhere just everywhere but just minor pieces I thought there was a bigger chunk but of course I'm not seeing it. oh I think the sun is too bright in the in the sliding glass door so right here there is a little bit of chunk missing but it's beautiful I love this box so this box that is plain on the inside is $58 now the other box that I got, this one is $65. Still has that beautiful inlay detail. This one has even more inlay than the other one. There is a little bit of inlay or veneer missing right here on the corner. That's probably the biggest chunk, maybe a little bit of a flaw down there, but I mean, these things have age. They're gonna have damage. But the inside, well, I'll show you the bottom, but the inside of this one is awesome because it has a mirror. Oh, look at that pretty McCoy planter. <laughs> and I will be sharing with you my dining room pretty soon. I'm still struggling. Let's see, like that wall right there, I'm still struggling. I wanna have that clock there, but I'm just not having any luck putting anything with it. But I love all the little paper there in the mirror. And this one too has the little ledge um, on the side, so it probably had some kind of tray insert. So 65 on this second one. This one was also in the same booth. It was not marked as a cigar box. Not really sure, again, what kind of box it would have been. Trinket, um, jewelry. I don't even know what else they call boxes like this, but some kind of storage box. This one does have nails. You can see all the way through. They are all silver, which honestly automatically makes me think new, but they all match. So if somebody redid the nail holes or the nails, 
They literally did it top and bottom because they are all silver. So see that? So this box is hinged also. And it, all of these are ones that would have locked at some point, but don't lock now. Here's the bottom in case I didn't share it. I did because I showed you the nails, but the inside is just simple and plain. I'm assuming this is walnut, but I really don't sure. And you'll notice that the edges are just put together like in a simple way. They're not dovetail or, you know, any of those other types of uh, matching up, lining up the box. So 65 on this one. And I did not pick this one up today, but I do just wanna show it to you because I keep it here on my side table. It is already listed on the website, but it has not sold. And to me, it is absolutely gorgeous. So I don't know if this is like leather textured that they have added to the edges, but it's some kind of, you know, applique to that. And then check out the inside. I mean, I think this is original paint. I have like two price tags in here. I have no idea why, but it is $60. I think it might even be like $59.99 on the website. But how gorgeous is that? And when I got this new box, I thought, oh, I wonder if they'll stack. And I hadn't tried it until right now, but guess what? They are a perfect match if you wanted to stack them. You can tell the coloring on them is a little bit different, but still a good stack. Well, thanks so much for watching today's video. I hope you click that subscribe button and come back and watch another one.